Hello everybody, it's time for my yearly Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines playthroughs. And I am just gonna get this microphone slightly closer to my mouth, just in case I am too far away, which hopefully I am not. This year, and by the way, yearly Vampire the Masquerade playthroughs will likely last into next year. This year, I'm playing the anti tribute mod, and I'm hoping to get through a large part of all the clans. Like, 50% or just over would be ideal. I'm not gonna be so ambitious that to say, oh, I'm just gonna play through all of them, because that's likely not gonna happen, but... I, I'm giving this four months-ish, so hopefully we play through enough. There's no ability to do a... questionnaire, which clan fits you. And if you notice, all of the clans have replaced all of the previously existing clans. Because I imagine that was the only way that they could get new clans into the game. It was just to take the programming that was meant for one clan and directly slot it into programming. <laughs> Rather, directly slot the assets and everything for new clans, including the mechanics. Now... You can sort of guess what clan was supposed to go where originally, judging from the models. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna be correct in assuming that Giovanni replaced Premier, which means that talking to Maximilian Strauss might end up being interesting. I'm questioning this, but it looks like Nagaraja replaced Mul Cavians. Or potentially Simitsi replaced Malkavians. Then the heck do you replace? Samedi very obviously replaced Nosferatu. Old Clan Simitsi very obviously replaced Ventru. That's gonna be one of the fighter clans. It's either Bruja or Gangrel. I'm gonna assume Gangrel. And the Sombra very nicely replaced Toreadors. I gotta say, it's quite fitting considering that La Sombra are supposed to be very, 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 very pretty. Except for the whole thing of being unable to see their own reflection. I want to leave Samedi alone. I want to have a playthrough with them. But I don't want it to be the first playthrough. Because the first playthrough is also a bit of a nostalgia trip for the game itself. So I want to take something that's a bit less out there. That feels a bit out there, doesn't it? You know what, let's... Let's go slightly, um... Slightly bland, and let's start with a Sombra. <laughs> I kinda... I kinda like La Sombra. Hello, Narcoholic. Nothing much, I had a week of migraine, hence why... I am streaming right now, and not on the weekend. I'm just gonna title her La Samba, because why not? Let's see... Oh, it happens quite often, so it's not entirely unusual. I just took I'm just now taking my sweet-ass time whenever that happens and just 
living the slow life. Distracts and disorns your enemies. Faith in area and utter blackness granting plus three to sneaking. And it's gonna make people flee. Yeah, I'm gonna be up upgrading up tenebration to maximum because it is the special thing. I'm gonna slot in that into appearance because we are supposed to be pretty. Do I want to soak damage or nah? Lock picking is kind of a good thing to have. Right, definitely subterfuge and intimidation because what kind of La Sombra is not intimidating? We're gonna be extra good at lock picking. I will take research, because I would normally take research at least at some point. And uh, let the games begin. Gonna have the regular good old intro, and we're just gonna have a very, very slow playthrough this time around, as it is in a way a memory lane trip for Bloodlines yet again. <laughs> is that a pregnancy test? I want to show you something. Did they find the hotel room like that, or did the vampire man brought a condom just in case? I have so many questions. How many condoms did he bring? Did he really think that he needed four on at the same time? <laughs> did he just not know how condoms work and nobody informed him? Because all <laughs> the clans are replaced. My fellow kindred. Some fellow My kindred <laughs> look extra spunky. Particularly Mr. Cowboy Hat. Is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As I prince, can never I interpret rights, what Skelter says, but I'm just gonna say, what is the bitch of the bitch doing today? You have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as... Up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member. That, that happens to be La Sombra. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Very loyal and upstanding member of the no clan on the opposite I side. I servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere I just to really the like the Semedi in the background. <laughs> Lest we endanger all of our blood. Uh, this is completely normal. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. I am kind of disappointed that he did not mod... Whoever made this mod, that Which they did not the mod extra outfits. Progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place. Their responsibility. I mean, LaCroix could have worn something the else. They must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit. Oh, 
I did see a base game lost for Atter in the background, so that's interesting. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic. That was a very fast eye roll. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. I think, yep, I definitely think that that's not Velvet Valor's normal outfit. So they modded some of them, but not all. That all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my... I think my character doesn't quite know Allowing how bodies you work anymore, so... Responsible for your that walk looks behavior. extra so, awkward. What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. Less hunchback! This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. More elegance. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Yep, I for most part know know how the game works. So that's that's shroud. Ooh, shadow play. Is it to zoom out? I do need to figure out and I will forget it. What is quick save? That is not acceptable. gonna set the quick load to F9 just because quick save being like F9 and quick load being F12 that's too close Who are you? Is what I say. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and low train life story, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. And we're out. Considering that you lose humanity every single time you go on this kill uh, killing spree, and you gain humanity back in some quests, I have to assume that Jack is on his own quest. To regain some of the humanity that he's gonna promptly spend. Uh, what happened in there? Don't worry, kiddo, you'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, but time's wasted. You want some help or what? I mean, sure. Alright. Uh, why don't we uh, step out back here? I mean, I like it where I am. I mean, I nearly got decapitated. No.
It's never as sweet as the first time. That's a nice way of putting. You can't have you can't have anything but one thing. Imagine if you had to live the rest of your life on carrots and somebody was like, Oh, carrots, your new champagne. Carrots, your new steak. And it's like, my man, <laughs> carrots is all I can eat. What do I do? So, I mean, um... And how does vampirism work? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be I mean, sure carrots for some other plugs, plugs too. Okay. It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. I mean, unfortunately, people are not made out of carrot juice. That's not people, that's something else. I will... Turn up the volume a tiny bit, because here's the issue, the dialogue's quiet. The mod's menu music, extra loud. Well, hey, I can't mix up the buttons at the, uh, unless I press Windows key. I know what F is. I probably shouldn't touch my abilities yet. I do really love how they made it into tiny blood droplets. It is quite cute. I mean, my health isn't in tiny blood droplets, which is unfortunate, but... You know, last year when I was playing Clan Quest mod, your blood removing itself every like three to four minutes was a thing. It's gonna be so weird to not have this one in this mod, where it's like, I'm full on blood and it stays that way. Well, that's just incredible. Hi! <laughs> We're playing La Sombra. All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Like? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. No sure bet, but still a chance of immortality is not a bad deal. Hello. That's just for starters. Fresh benefits for joining the club. So I'm gonna live forever? Uh, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? Worthless. A cross? <laughs> Shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it's just paralyzed. Running water? That's no problem. I bathe. When he feels like it. Did anyone do experimenting just how much brain matter can you shotgun blast away off a vampire <laughs> before they actually die? What if, it, if it's like 90% did they lose their memories or nah? Okay now. What the fuck is this? You get inside here, head upstairs. Meet up. I would, but the doors aren't working yet. Now the doors are working. What's with the tiny scratchy symbol? Yes, game, I don't know how to play. I'm doing the tutorial just because you kind of have to do it from time to time because 
It helps with the memories, man. Ah, yes! No! Why can't I enter through the window? I mean, Jack is gonna. Come down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. But I like the windows. You don't want to you don't want to think about the implications of that. Cuz imagine you you grinded a werewolf to fine powder. They're still alive. And you snorted that powder. And let's hope that that powder doesn't actually like want to coalesce back together. Because it would probably explode from the inside, which would kind of be cool, but at the same time you have a person sludge and apparently it still lives until you drop some silver in it. <laughs> yeah, the Sabbat, um, that would be all of the clans that I'm currently playing. <laughs> it's the opposite day world. The Sabbat get... Thordor, Nosferatu, Malkavian, Gangro, and the rest. And we get La Sombra and Tsimitsi. <laughs> Other Sabbat staples. The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What's the prince? The prince of? No time for political run now. Is it like a prince of Tuscany? Might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck. Like I have some sacks. very old dry feet. Nothing fledgling like he wants to mess with. It's not very exciting, but I like snack. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. I need to know, is there a clan that makes you that huge? Or was there like a walking closet at one point? Dumb frenzied Sabat bastards. All right, we gotta vamoose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Thanks. Thanks, Jack. Um, that wasn't F. That was L. Right. Whoa, hotkeys. Good to know that the buttons are actually really confused. I need you to be an F. The heck, man. And I also need... What? I need the quest log to be a button that exists! I do have a loaf of bread. Ah, there we go! Now we have a quest log and... Really incredible incredibly loud menu music. 2004. Which is when this game released. So it was current for the time. I don't actually know if it was 2004, 2003, but like, there are logs in the game in computers and they write with a date. So we will be able to see that, but it's early 2000s. Uh, shortcut. Well, 
Nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? You see, to me, that window sounded like a wall, so I'm gonna call Hex. I know how to handle myself. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, Apparently, lockpicking is easy. I haven't tried it, but my husband keeps on watching a master locksmith unlock locks really easily. I think it's actually autumn. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't. He's dead. He's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. It's and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. I got it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. <laughs> Fuck up, Saint. Do you mean handheld computers? <laughs> well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. I mean, he's like 500 years old. He's one of the oldest characters in the game. So he's very chill. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, they're like vampire good guys? Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their very classy. So what's next? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. I actually never thought about what <laughs> age was Jack supposed to be. I know that he was supposed to be like a pirate. Because his skin actually looks cheekbones, nose area, forehead. It, it, it does look pretty youthful. But then that full beard ages him. And I'm pretty sure that that beard has some gray hairs. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna say 30 plus. 40 maybe. If he had good skin early 30s he had the really weird case of aging but what does that mean exactly you do what you gotta do theft destruction of property breaking and entering <laughs> these will be the least of your sin before the night's out so look around here we gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door there must be a key someplace i'll find it I swear, though, I mean, you broke in through the window. You should, you probably can just break through that. You can probably break through that door, no problem. I don't think he does. My own relatives actually look kind of weird. Okay, so... <laughs> Not the world, uncle. Chop shop is the password. Save. Chop shop because it's completely normal to write your password in like super giant letters on an A4 paper and then glue it to the wall. Sticky notes are probably not a thing in this world. And to have such a secure save that it only has two commands, which is lock and unlock. <laughs> it's 2000s, baby, which is why we store passwords like this. There we go. Now take that keycard and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. Jack. Check out things from top side. Jack, I was staring at some... Very interesting, um... Band posters. <laughs> In this really run-down warehouse. Okay, I think it's the month of October, guys. I mean, alternatively, somebody has not been using this warehouse for a while. 
so it's very fitting. Because I think outside is October too. Again, it's like the blue bar is your help. Well, duh. Well, you get to feel uber goth when you install any mods because but everybody's dressed a bit edgy. Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. It indeed is, Jade. We are La Sombra. It's gonna be VTM time for like straight four months straight, so don't worry about it. We're in no rush. What's the difference? Blood is blood, right? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff, but you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Well, if you say so, Jack. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. They're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. And if I kind of make a corpsey poo? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one. Even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. What exactly does the beast mean? The beast? It's always there. It's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. It's been like 17 degrees in England. This is Celsius, by the way, so it's pretty warm last week. Morning walks, it feels quite perfect because you can go out with a sweater, but when the sun rises, it's currently like 8 a.m. Don't particularly enjoy that because that's the time when everybody's out and about. I much preferred going out at like 5 when literally nobody was out and about, so I get to meet a lot of doggos. Now, with the whole masquerade thing and um, humanity thing, humanity... You lose humanity if your character feels guilty over what they've done, effectively, because there is no objective ruling if somebody is innocent or not. Meaning... If you get into your head <laughs> that you... Don't consider them to be alive in the first place because they're just not intelligent enough to ever count. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh, God, Jade, 26. Jesus, that's high. Well, I'm up and about and it's. 8 a.m. and I go to sleep at about 10. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound like a very nice heat wave. I'm glad that I wasn't there experiencing it. So I can't kill anyone. That seems a little restrictive. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him. In October? You would be hanging out in some very cold place. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I think I follow. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Got it. Now go feed. Careful though. He's gonna drain fast. Back in a minute. Now the thing is, I am full on blood. <laughs> But if you tell me to go and drink a hobo, Jack, I'll drink a hobo. Because you see, healing doesn't actually... 
It doesn't actually cost me blood. Unless I go with blood heal. So it means that I kind of heal on auto anyway. So I didn't really need that. Also, that was a pretty slow drain. I wonder if this mod just increases how much blood every single person has. Trying to think of the weirdest animal that you can feed from. A tortoise. I'm gonna go with a tortoise. That would probably feel extra weird. Worse than a bum's neck, that scarf tasted like old gym socks. Dear character, why are you eating scarves? Well, give it a try. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I said, it's gonna be very chill this time without that, because I kinda got used to it in the end. Really, I have to go and find the mouse? Micey, 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 micey. Micey, micey, woohoo. <laughs> yes. Let, let me just... Let me just buy some iron and eat that, and I'm good. <laughs> you rat sucker. Wait, if you put hey, iron in water, is that the same just thing? So you know. Well, Is it close enough? Looks down on that kind of thing. Apparently, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Well, I wasn't gonna barf it up. Just one guy. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. All I'll right, do my on. best. See you in a minute. Now... <laughs> I wonder if the game will let me do this. There was some... There's literally like... Hamatogen bars in Lithuania. And I did really like them. As a child, it was one of my favorite things. There isn't like a thing like that in UK, unfortunately. I'm just not invisible enough with these. I want to be a tiny bit more invisible. What about shadow play? Oh yeah, well that... <laughs> oh, okay. That, that one was still reacting after a while. Well, also because it... These things are new to me, so I just... I really want to test them out. Don't mind me, I'm just the sentient shadow. This is completely normal. Please move away from there. It's kind of making me uncomfortable. I don't like it. It does indeed increase my sneak. I would really like you to stop looking this way. That was really weird, my character. Are you okay? turn around or what yeah it's a beautiful fire i know so nice and cozy and warm out there but it's a bit weird because 
my man, it's not going anywhere. It's just gonna stay like this. Okay, that was pretty cool. Um, casting it close enough to him made him go, Ow, my eyes. Keep quiet, they're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry, he's probably greener than you. That's pretty green. <laughs> my eyes. Ah! And then my character is like, yep, it's doing some sneaking right now. You can't see me. You didn't specify if it's me that was supposed to be good at blending in with the environment or the enemy that was supposed to go blind. So I'm gonna assume that this is valid. How can that be? He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. I'll do my best. He is a vampire, so be ready. I was Go born ahead. ready. I'm on it. It's time for me to. Wow. Okay, you're cowering. It's time for me to do some punching. Wow, you died. That was very fast. This is mine now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> I'm strong! Lazombra, everybody! That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Saban are going all out. You better head underground. Avoid straight blows. The Saban are going all out. That's a very weird shortening there. Alright, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. So, um, what this tells us is that the Camarilla are actually on the wrong side of history, because maybe they should have allied themselves with strong clans. <laughs> that are very strong. <laughs> is this a letter? Can I read it? Okay. Stealth kill and everything. So amusing. I wanted to know what the ground said. I swear you looked like a human. You were a god damn it. I could have sure eaten you. Going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. The more the merrier. So this is area of effect. There we go. Goodbye, man. That is a very big water pipe. I think they're clearing out. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. We'll come to an elevator around the way. I'll meet you there. Don't, don't let them catch you. No problem. I do feel really bad at how the um I did not read that. That's gonna be a problem. <sighs> Time to fail. Hey, hold it. So sometimes the game like really dislikes if you don't do what the game wants you to do. Um, this is now gonna be my food. Don't mind me, I am quite hungry. I'm sure he does not mind, he can't see right now. Which makes this a completely valid kill! Oh, that was a person. 
Emphasis on was. I command you to dance, 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 baby. <laughs> and I'm just gonna overdrink a little because um, I don't actually want to fight you, so this is kind of faster. Why was my character's first thought for command this dance? I mean, I suppose it occupies people and allows you to rate their dance skills. I forgot which way I came from. This is gonna be confusing. I am really bad with maps. Okay, this is definitely the next area. They don't look like Sabat vampires. Just look like humans. I think that was deliberate. Hi. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fucking humans, gang bangers protecting their turf. Oh man, I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. So what do we do? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots and it'll take down a human. Thank you. I kind of want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. Oh, that's a new the description of the weapon. useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's got to keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Guns have been nothing new for over a hundred years, mate. Useless against vampires, you say? Well, yeah, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. I hear ya. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. They're technically innocent, Jack. Thought that maybe you know you should know that. I don't- I don't wanna- I don't wanna waste bullets! Damn is like, no, you must waste bullets. Bullets are for wasting, that's just what they do. There we go. Got some rats! I would- Oh, one out of one! I can't have any more hands than one, you say? Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be using rats because I already in quite a few people and I'm about to eat quite a few more. Because guess what? The Shroud of Darkness kinda feels a bit OP if you ask me. Unless, of course, you miss it. And in that case, you just get whacked a lot. Um, I am strong. What's up with this damage? Ah, uh, there we go. Now you got hit in the eyes. Perfect. Excuse me, my dudes. I need my blood back. His friend was immune to blindness. I hope his friend wasn't blind to begin with, because otherwise that would have been me being a tiny bit of a jerk. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, it's all Can I keep the weapon? Slinks back to their corners of the city. Please. That's it, it's over. Until the next night when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry Dodge spinning all that and so on and so on and so on. I don't think that the Camarilla will care about these people in the backyard. So this is normal? Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat, 
Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before that. <laughs> now, we got stakes. every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Mm hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. Oh, I can't ask him to keep the gun. I wanted the gun. Where's your gun back? If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Now, considering that my person went, like, straight to bed. Right? It means that by the time that the people came to pick me up, it was, like, super early in the morning. Well, my embrace happened at 4 a.m. At best, we have until maybe 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. And then there was the whole thing at the theater. I'm gonna assume that the cab was cutting it closer to close. So, w what was Jack expecting? A sleepover? In my blood. Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? If it's October, the sun is setting at about six, seven. That's past your bedtime. <laughs> it was all like I, I just, I just assumed that I can stay over. Ah. Maximilian Strauss, at your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse, a light this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. Maximilian Strauss, Tremere Regent. I love how, um, he wrote a little poem, <laughs> which I have to assume he does on the regular for some weird-ass reason. Uh, three lines, right? The first two have nothing to do with location whatsoever. The first one is just, you're a vampire, make this first shiny. Uh, yeah. Uh, second one is I think you're strong. Thanks, man. And the third one means nothing without the context. And the context is that the man walked outside, saw graffiti in front of his chantry, and was all like, "Yep, putting that into a poem." Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with a dress. Come over after you get settled, Mercurio. Uh, my man! You could have wrote the address on the piece of paper that you left here. You didn't write- you didn't need to write two things. You could have just written one thing. The game begins. A pawn is moved. My favorite thing is that the email address here is a friend. <laughs> this wouldn't be even a friend at email.com. This is just a friend. Dang. It's big, you know. Penis enlargement! Watch the girls come running! Call today! 1-800-555-STICK! 
Uh, do you remember when phones were like clickety 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 clack clacks? So the letters were underneath numbers. So you could literally be like, my number is lamb, and it would actually mean something. Try this. Holy that's good. What the is this? Nine out of ten people You know, in case you want a bigger stick. There we go. Arthur Dor Dirt at Dirt Cheap Internet dot VTM has an actual email address in that field instead of just a friend, which is really freaking bizarre. But what domain is Dirt Cheap Internet? <laughs> like, is that when? You would buy like an early 2000s internet provider and their package is like, comes with your own email. Guys, this is like so technology right now. Looking for that lazy ass ex husband who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further, abandon your search and go home. With Arthur Kilpatrick's amazing crime putter, you can find almost anyone with a record. And these days, that's just about everyone. In case you know you're looking for criminals. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If you got the deadbeat, we got the technology to find him. Arthur knows how to Google. A reminder, Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting him. SL. So, from LaCroix, making me think that these are like their internal internet. So, if you're inside the circle, then you don't need like a proper email address. And if you're sending to the email from outside, that's when you get a proper email address. But if this is like an inside circle, then how did Arthur Kilpatrick have our email to advertise to? And why are we getting emails about penis enlargement? Welcome from Mercurio, which is once again not an email address. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated. And we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. Emphasis on ass. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number 4. Walk to the end of the alley and my building is the next one on the right. M. And a comic relief sidekick who won't make it to Act 3. I picked the wrong month to cancel my life insurance. No, don't say that. You're gonna make it. With a guy from that other movie that was slightly popular. And what's her name from that show you sometimes watch? That's explosive. Movie, two spectacular CGI battle sequences. And an Is there a bear called Astrolite? give you no choice but to see this film. See it. Because it's a movie, and all your friends are going. In theaters Friday, and on DVD in three months. Well, you sold me, movie ad. All my friends are going! I'm not entirely sure I still have friends, but okay. To be fair, the real me has friends that have never met in real life, despite the fact that I live in the same town as at least one of them. We're just lazy like <laughs> So, all of my friends would be coming to a Discord watch party. And yes, I'm just breaking into random people's and apartments. Why not? Carnival of death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled? Late edition. So you have a newspaper that comes out in the middle of the night? That's interesting. Actually, I would
would love to live in a world that, like, proper has vampires. Like, I know that that's a slightly horrifying thought, because that essentially goes, Oh, hey, I wish we had more serial killers on the loose. What? Right, that's not good. That's not normally here, either. That looks like a prosthetic. Is that a bone or a prosthetic? Is that a screwdriver or is that a leg bone? Well, I, I was trying to finish the thought until... Oh, cool, my axe. Felling axe? Well, this is a crime scene. I'm just picking stuff up, don't mind me. This is not ever normally here. I'm enjoying it right now. I'm gonna assume that it's because one of the clans need to eat flesh, and then another clan can make shit out of flesh. So, th you know, the mod creators were like, here, have some flesh. We're neither. So I'm just picking some flesh up just because I feel like it. But I was gonna finish the thought. Really, having more serial killers on the loose is a horrible idea because the world is kind of screwed up as it is, but... If you had an underground community of supernatural beings that can only be alive during nighttime, think of how much more shit would be run at nighttime. You would have nighttime cinema, nighttime barbers, 24-7 stores. I could wake up and still be considered living a normal out, which I would love. Why can't everything have a night shift? You know, literally, there is like a quest in um, unofficial mod that restores the quest where Beckett goes to a library in the middle of the fucking night. The libraries close at like 4 or 5. By the time you're out of work, they're closed. By the time you're out of work, banks also close. Like... Imagine... If the institutions didn't close... Uh, because they had super secret and rich people to cater to. And I would be like going to my local library at 11pm. You may be of use, you will serve me, human. You know what, I'm fine. Ni nice to know that as a La Sombra we can take human slaves. I like it. Whoa. Okay, something about that mod made somebody's face jump right in front of my face. Oh, well, cutscene was playing. That was slightly creepy. Not entirely creepy, just slightly creepy. Oh, I know! 3 a.m. library mood! Like, that is a totally not a normal thing to do, but imagine just... Going and chilling in a very quiet place in the middle of the night. What are you doing? Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. Uh -huh. A police officer. Old army mm -hmm. buddy. Uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. This guy is very intimidated by me. Because <laughs> he's like, I'm just waiting for a friend that's... In the army! And in the police! And he has an attack dog! Uh, think you could scare spare me a few bucks? <laughs> think you could scare me a couple dollars? I'm a little down on my luck right now. Uh, sure. I guess I could <laughs> spare a few dollars. Uh, here you are. Uh... Good luck getting back on your feet. 
You know, that sure is a nice watch you got. My watch? It's a quantum limited edition. Only 50 made in the world. Quite irreplaceable. It was an anniversary present for my wife. At that line? All of that line just sounds like it's very precious, let me keep it. <laughs> then I'm sure she won't be upset that you traded it for your life. Yes, well, um, here. I got what I want. For now. That guy must really like to get off this corner right now. Oh, look at the prostitutes being under the different skin. That's. That uh, looks like Heather's skin. Like one of the skins that you can make Heather change into. Hey, honey, looking for a date? No thanks, I fa I'll pass, but just wanted to check it out. Hey, how's it going, girl? Uh -huh. <laughs> this dude looks completely different. Do I know you? Oh man, wait, say that again. Okay. Do I? Know you. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What? A vampire? What the hell are you smoking? It's not like my character has elongated teeth that are out all the time. A cannon, all of their teeth are supposed to like... Be like sucked back into their gums. Somehow, and only come out for feeding so that there are a lot more snicky snicky. But in this game, in all of the models, the teeth are like completely visible, so I'm gonna assume that that's just not a thing that happens. Come on, you are too. <laughs> no, man, don't bullshit me, girl. Just come clean. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay. I just want to talk. All right, then let's talk. Jeez, I knew you were, I just could tell, I, oh man, this is great, and I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. Yeah, and see? In you know <laughs> this game, everybody just has teeth out all the time. Which probably makes identifying vampires very easy, not to mention that the whites of my character's eyes are actually black, so that would probably not look okay either, and she's not really wearing any glasses. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, they're like, look at the state of my teeth. Speaking of which, I have to see a dentist on Thursday, and I'm kind of afraid that they're gonna take some of them away from me. <laughs> I have really, really really shitty teeth and I always did and um some of them are in very very dubious state right now his hair though like I know that this is even a popular hair thing recently where like you leave one side long and you cut the other one short but you really wouldn't want to ever die and become a vampire with your hair like that. That would be very awkward the moment the fashion changed. Uh, are you a vampire? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, bam! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my god! What is a ghoul? Says the person that just enslaved a random hobo. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire I mean, I have a human gains a little few fake power. ones. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. I do try to take care of them, but I've been born with teeth that are really not normal. And so has my mother. And we both lost teeth at about the same time. As in, the same time on age scale, not together at the same time. Who was 
just a vampire that made you into a ghoul? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you, just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? You like being a ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. I mean, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. Just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. So nasty, dude. So the dude is nasty, eh? You know, he is smarter than he looks. You can't get him to drop his act, like... When... After, like, you do some favors for him later down in the game. Which makes me think, from his character's perspective, what is the point of this conversation? Like, what is he gaining from this right now? Does he, like, get to seize us up? To figure out how much information we would willingly give up? Or what? So, what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you. Secret mission? Well, hey, ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. Was the secret mission like keeping tabs on me, figuring out who I am? I have. Shit. Okay, that's off. That's there. I swear there was at least another. I have. I think I have three crowns, but I forget which of my teeth are porcelain and which are normal. Which is a very weird thing to say. Can I go and see if we can pick up Heather? And if anything is off with the hospital right now. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. I'll not be seen, nor will I wait. All right, go on back. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding. Hi, Heather. Uh, uh, please. Get a doctor. A girl? I'm a doctor now. Uh, my insides. It hurts so bad. I... But you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's this girl over there and I think she's going to die. See here now. I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Try to talk to her. Keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. That kind of sounds like he's already dead, my dude. Time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Sheesh. Heather. <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can save you. The thing is, what happened to her? Look at the area where the blood stain is focused. It's it's here. With primary source being like around here. And um I don't see any wounds. <laughs> she shouldn't be bleeding right now. Drink my blood and live. I mean, then you would kind of... I mean, maybe, but there's no external wound whatsoever. Like, look at her. She's fine. You alright? You... Who... Who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? 
Nothing. I must be going now. Bye! <laughs> We're totally not ever gonna meet again. Totally. Anything interesting that I can nab? <laughs> she, she, she just has a period out of her chest. It's fine. Email! <laughs> He's cheating on his wife. Oh shit, right. Yep, I'm shit at hacking. This is a difficulty too. I think I can get that really fast. I forgot that I did not get computer first, that I got research first. Email! There we go, Panacea. Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Paige. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want. But I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test. Please? <laughs> like, what is that big stick between your legs, doctor? Can I see it up close? Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. If you should want me to show my appreciation, I just have to ask. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off of it next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. And do you think you could can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Well, that's a very non-very healthy breakfast for a doctor's wife. Hacking is when I have good enough hack skill and just let the auto-sorter figure out passwords of other people, right? Anyway, I wanted to do that because hi. I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. I'm pretty sure your patient is dead. You welcome. Your wife know about the affair. Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with the patient? Divorce is expensive. All I'm asking for is a few bucks. Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Then I'll go forward that email from Paige to Trina at sol.vtm. Wait now. What do you want? Better internet security. Um, my dude. Why do you... Why are you completely like logged into your email on... In that office? Permanently? Why is it so easy to to access? Why were those emails not deleted? And why were they unchecked? As in, you haven't actually read them. $150, please. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Now never speak to me about that again. Put in the mailbox for 508 in the apartments over the pawn shop, doctor. Now, this patient is very clearly not alive, so if you don't mind. I... I have... Blood. <laughs> I use quite a lot of power in here, and I mean, I fed some of mine to somebody else, and you know how things go. Ah yes, what a difficult door. It's also nice to know that nobody ever checks them, so if you unlock them, they're just unlocked for forever. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't know! I've don't saved a person's life upstairs! I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? What do you know? Maybe I would like people to have some La Sombra blood transfusion. What could go wrong? You offering? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. 
Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what would it be? How much? If you have to ask. Show me what you got. Brother slash sister. Would, would you like some raw human flesh? There you go. Literally what I said. So, you can get... Actually, what in the actual fuck is that? Okay, that is raw human flesh. So... You can buy some raw human flesh over here. Clear as bloke, no... I suppose it makes sense for you to have that. That is very little blood, though. Like, you only deal with one blood pack? That's bit shit. But at the same time, in this mod... Like... I feel like I have a lot more ability to drink blood from people. But if I was playing in the garage, I would need to stock up on these. And they seem to be free and infinite. So this is where you would just go to be able to live effectively. But as I am not in that garage, I'm just gonna sell you some raw human flesh. I hope you don't mind. There we go. You know, it's funny. Nobody really cares all that much in ours either. Just... Things are done a bit differently. Like, instead of this, you would just become a company, make an app, and just siphon everyone's data. She's fine. I gave her my own blood. She doesn't need any more blood. Oh, you mean the one that gets in prison. Well, I do have regular blood packs. I don't have enough to buy a blue blood pack. I don't actually know, can I feed a blood pack to her before? Because I actually did, you know, have them in my inventory before, but she just... Always goes so thirsty and my person is like, okay, I might just untie you. Okay. Where to now? Well, I know that they want to see me there, but I don't really want to go there just yet. How about let's just go for a walk? We don't go to the beach just yet. We're gonna go to the beach a bit later. We can listen to cops talk though. That's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Hi! The down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago, up in Malibu, found this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? Nah, I haven't seen shark bites. This was something different. They literally see me here. I think that's the hanging person. But bullshit. No, no. Guy was literally slashed to ribbons. Worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon. Like someone was watching me. I swear on my badge today there was something just out of sight. For a split second, I think I'm gonna run for the squad car and get the hell out of that place. To this day, it makes me wonder what's really out there. Maybe it was a werewolf. Ooh. All right, all right. Or a vampire. Ooh. Get it. See, this is why you didn't get invited to Hernandez's wedding, Ted. You guys just have the most personal conversations in front of another person. It's kind of funny to hear that when the actual vampire just standing there. It is. This game is just... Pure nostalgia and very comfy. This is... This is my yearly game that I come to. 
You know what? I haven't tried entering places before I actually need to enter places. So how about we try entering places before I actually need to enter places? <laughs> yeah, it might be Myrta. Woo! Don't ever speak to me. You know the day destroys a night. Night divides a day. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry? I mean, your eyes are definitely not okay. You have piercing through your throat slash, but also... You, you, your opening line is don't ever speak to me. But... I really want to speak to you again now. <laughs> He's gone! Like entirely gone, gone. I don't know, I didn't for a very long time and then... I played this once, and it was like the first thing that I played on YouTube when I was like 16, because this was like my favorite game. And then I came back to it for like a thousand subscriber special that was like a couple years later, when I was like 18, I think. And I tried to do this game as fast as possible, which actually took me like four hours to do, which currently actually seems pretty not bad, because the next time I tried repeating that, I kind of majorly screwed up. Then... I think I came back to it the third time. And then last year I came back to it as well. Just I, I did one for like a marathon of streaming on some other channel. Uh, that was a 13 hour run. But I also just last year just came back and was like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna play some mods. And I've decided it's a yearly thing now. I'm just gonna dedicate like four months to Bloodlines a year now, whenever I'm available to do that. Hi. Something I can help you with. Uh, do you like Santa Monica? I guess. Are you waiting for someone? You're not eating. Goodbye, then. Oh, I didn't actually want to say goodbye to you, but, um, he's the killer. Just, um, just so you know, he's, he's the actual, like, murderer. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with this precognition. The cream's curdled, I can smell it, and I think there are rat droppings there. The health inspector. Let me just get my badge and I'll show you. No, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting one. Yay. If you excuse me, I have other establishments to inspect. Oh! There's no back thing? I suppose the purse is normally on the table. Because if you scare her too much during a quest in which you're saving a ginger girl, you need to get her purse. Rather the ginger girl's purse from that woman. And you can actually like find it in the environment. But for some reason I thought that it was just behind the di Why? I, I can't actually repeat my time of four hours at this point, and um, four hours is nowhere near fast enough to actually be a speedrun in this game. Excuse me. I'm. 
being haunted by some random ass dude and I don't know what I did to him. It's cool that he's there because that's definitely not normal, but it's weird. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? How can you not help me, honey? You run this place, I assume? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. How's business these days? Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. You know what the weird thing is, now that I think about it? This game, Santa Monica, is laid out more like a European town than the real Santa Monica probably is, because the streets are kinda tiny, and... There are quite a lot of actual, like, places side by side together with buildings that you can live in, which normally does not happen in zoned cities. So you can actually, like, just get out of your apartment and go down to all of these wonderful places by foot. And there's, like, almost no traffic whatsoever because you just did not implement traffic. Oh yeah, the quickest ones are... I've seen the exploits and they're... Pretty interesting. <laughs> like, at one point they just like jump up through the ceiling and play... It's fun to watch because I've never done exploiting of this game myself. Outside of the time when I needed to no clip the elevator because the elevator in Hollywood... Some no, it was the, ele the elevator in Chinatown sometimes will get stuck and not go to appropriate location. Do you get many people who jump bail? Of course, goes with the business. <laughs> then you seek the bounty hunter on him. That got to be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Or pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Is the bounty hunter you got now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. I found some dude exploded in his apartment. That wouldn't be Carson, though, would he? Maybe I could find them for you instead. Well, I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. I was so shit at Mirror's Edge. I did play it once, but I don't know if I actually deleted the playthrough or not. The reason why I played it, right, is because I'm... I met my current husband through YouTube, which just when my channel was starting. I've done Nightmare Creatures, I was looking for anyone else that has done Nightmare Creatures. So I left him like a whole bunch of comments and he was trying to fix my game for me. But he has done Mirror's Edge. And because he has done Mirror's Edge, I wanted to do Mirror's Edge. So I bought Mirror's Edge to play through Mirror's Edge. And I was really shit at it. That's me in a lot of games, honestly. Um, done Bioshock. Loved Bioshock. Was awful at Bioshock. Thank you for whoever's rating me. Mm. I remember he got me Left for Dead. When we like, we're kind of friends. We're kind of dating. And. The first time we fought a tank, I threw a Molotov, like, MILES over the tank. And he commented that my throwing was really shitty and I got very offended at that. Got, like, legitimately upset because I grew up with The Sims 2, Oblivion, and Vampire the Masquerade, and that was it. I lived, like, three games for majority of my teenage years. So, quite understandably, I was really shit at everything else. 
Yeah, I play everything on keyboard and mouse. I actually I don't find controllers all that comfortable. Of course. Now, where should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment one, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card that lets you in. Uh, before I go, could you answer questions? Sure, honey. What is it? Santa Monica is really going downhill, isn't it? Hell yeah. I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm... I don't... I don't run ever. No, that's a great way of getting a heart attack. I just... It's just the thing I don't do. I, I'm... 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 I'm the speedy turtle. Okay, I'm out of here. Thank you for the job, Kilpatrick. I'm... Who in the... What? Excuse me? Are you here to make sure that I don't eat Kilpatrick? Also, I swear I had more blood, so maybe my blood is ticking down. Fighting that dude on open streets, like, why the fuck is he there? And why does he like shooting me in the face so much? Like, what is wrong with him? I do feel like I kind of need to approach this, though. Then can I enter through a grate anywhere? Okay, that is locked. He has to be a hunter. Oh my god, I can lockpick this. So, this is where the Nosferatu is hiding. <laughs> His screensaver is go away. Oh. I'm shit at hacking. Email. Right. I've come to wipe your window. Alright, so my blood did go down. But I'm actually wondering if it's because my character is healing. If healing passively actually consumes blood in this one. I think it does. Um... Now, this is quite interesting, because chances are I can feed on her without anyone noticing, but um, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I can. I've been a master in feeding on the streets in this game. I think my blood's okay as long as I don't need to heal. That's new. Anyway, Santa Monica Sweets, they said. I mean, that dude did manage to set a wallpaper that's just letters that says go away. I now would like to know if that's the sweets. Yeah, that is the sweets. Cool. Yeah, but text changes location from time to time. That is a lot of blood. Huh. Imalia! How she looked before she became a vampire, because she's in Hollywood as an Osferatu, which still exists in this game probably, just not as a playable class anymore. Well, mine now. Well, thanks. Check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, um, anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up.
open another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. Is it Imalia by any chance? Yes, it is. That's really silly. McGee is hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica Key. Don't forget the key to the tattoo parlor. It's at the top of the TV. I already got it. It's all good. I don't... Ooh, it's mine. I don't think I can unlock this. Shit, I'm close. Um... I don't suppose I can blood buff myself into getting this. Yes, I can. A jock shot swimsuit shoot, you say? Excuse me? Way of the fisting! <laughs> part Kama Sutra, part martial arts instruction book! Excuse me? When coupled together, the deadly art of aiming below the belt comes to life, raises your brawl skill. Yeah, because I blood buffed my, my way through, which means that I lost some blood, which I do not like. I hate losing blood. I thought that I couldn't actually use... Um... Disciplines in here because this is normally considered like a safe house And you can't use shit in a safe house because that would make it an unsafe house My dude, do you really live like this because this is really goddamn bizarre like imagine you come back home and you're like, I want to have a sofa in front of my front door not like a TV not like a fireplace, not anything. My front door. I I already read it, I think. It raised my brow skill. I can I can fight a bit better, but <laughs> wait up. I yep, I can I can target him with actual shit. Um can I Yeah, I can't... I can use disciplines here. That's very interesting. They don't really do anything. <laughs> because... I, yeah, I'm gonna benefit from blinding the guy that's dying on the sofa. Rip me off. I'm dying but I can actually use disciplines here now. You want me to call an ambulance? What? No. I got a record back east. I'm heat day. Don't touch that phone. No eh. goddamn cops. You Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. I mean, it's not outside your body, so that's a good thing. What happened? I got... I went... I'm never going to be mean to Mercurio because he's a great weapons dealer. I'm all numb. You got to look and tell me. I don't know. I used the book so I can't sell it. Yeah, that's a rib. I say you have five minutes to live, Pops. I'm lying here bleeding to death, and you're cracking wise? I don't need this crap. Just tell me who did this to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of his guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks. Hit me with a bat. Feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty cat.
alley rat bastards. Do you have Those friends to go with you? Beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass Thank up you. here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. You don't have the astrolite? You think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Land in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. What, do you like me not to get there at all? The street, the I don't have mobile GPS yet. Beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. If it was your last words, don't worry, I will put them on your gravestone. Anything else? You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Outside of a tiny bit of makeup, this is just how I look daily. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I already have some hold still. Oh, oh, holy Christ, I needed that. Thank you for XP. Well, you're very welcome. I'll be back when I have the astrolite. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Here's why you're always nice to Mercurial. Doesn't matter who you decide to go with, at the end of the game, he will always sell you weapons. This guy is really awesome like that. Good to know. I'm still undecided if my blood ticks down over time or is it just when I'm healing. Because I swear that's less blood than I started the conversation with. Who can I reliably eat in here? Don't really want to eat you. Oh, you're on the dark side of the street. There we go. I wish that I had a way to tell my weaknesses. I there we go. Beware hunters in public places. That's why that hunter was there. Okay. Now I'm getting it. My... My weakness is extra hunters. Well, that's extra ominous. I'm really bewaring of some hunters in here now. Hey, Eddie, yesterday the cargo from France came in. It's one damn ugly statue, so deal with it. This Venus woman ordered its decoration for her neo-gothic club downtown. Oh, I forgot. Some brain-sick guy from Gimbal's Prosthetics also wanted to buy it. What moron is that? Okay, so we now figure out about... Gimbal's prosthetics from a little letter over here, right? Jeez, these people overhauled some things that they did not need over. Whoa. What? I'm sorry, this place is absolutely haunted.
That is some BS. <laughs> now, now that you told me, it's actually kind of funny because I want to imagine that there was just like a werewolf super hunched down in this room just going, eh. Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? Um... He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. There's flies and bodies. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. He high-fived the wall. Do you know when he'll return? I don't actually want him to high-five my face, though. I don't actually. What sort of appointment was this? Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame. Really, the proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Maybe I could come down and model for you. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Sounds good. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. Main the Street, you say? Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a while. Does anything happen if I approach this, like, closer? Because I, I swear, this kind of looks like a portal secret, like you would just be able to just go ah! and just jump through the wall, but no. It's just a completely normal, really creepy basement. It seems that some there is something unusual in that mysterious gimbal's prosthetics place worth checking out if you're not afraid. Guys, did you change your descriptions to or is that- was that just a thing that happened? Stone cutter. Stone- That's a new quest. Or maybe it was always there, god damn it. I- I'm just- I'm just going to be that butterfly meme going, is this new? <laughs> Alrighty then. Gonna hit up Mr. Gimbal. I have a sword if I want to pick it out, but I bet I can fist him. Which sounds wrong. I spoke on the phone with you a little while ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Thank you. All right. I honestly. Hello, welcome. I did not notice that the menu design was different. Supplies. You are here for the modeling job. Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs. If you don't mind me saying so. It's not all that's well developed. Um, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear. Let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Okay, Stan. Nice to meet you, Stan. Aha, an eager participant. Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready. And then come on in and we'll get started. Okay. Goodbye. I mean, the music, yes. Comp mod, definitely new. La Sombra icon that I called La Samba. Um. I don't know if the quests are too different or not. Uh, once again, we have black eyes with like glowing pupils. People would definitely notice.
That's actually nearly impossible to do. Mouth don't go that way. Which means you need to artificially raise it up. <laughs> and you actually need to look serious while doing it too. That's the carnival of death. Good to know. Oh, this place is largely the same. <laughs> Just tell that to all of the Twitch, right? Hey guys, can you do the masquerade face? <gasps> One of my blood drop is gone. Never mind, my blood is still kind of ticking down. Suppose it's fine. Why? Excuse me? Why? <laughs> okay, it's just... An alien? Yeah, that's an alien. So, we get to have a shotgun. No! Also, that thing is new. Like, this game is really giving me the tools now to do things. Oh, I remember it being a good game. I'm now avoiding roguelikes. And scary games, because I really liked roguelikes, but my heart can no longer handle it, so... <laughs> I'm just... I don't play anything that might accidentally give me stress. I swear, there was a man in this... I swear this place is haunted! I thought I saw, like, an outline of a man here. Let me just save. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, where's the key to your door? Hey, hold it. Hey, hold it. hey stop right there. Oh, hey, look, my living shadows. I, I love them. Um, Gimbal, you have things sticking out of your body. It's kind of weird. Literally had some worms sticking. Whoa, gimbal exploded. And I just got to see inside my own eyes. That was weird. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You Carson, I take it. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. You did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should go back to the office. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Well, I give him the bad news. See ya. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, I can actually come in here. Ooh, 
What? Uh, this is... It says that it's locked. Right? <laughs> Which is a weird thing to do. And, um... Sound mixing is just base game, but um, the mod made the volume of music really loud, which makes it extra awkward. So that's more flesh that I can just take here if I was in that garage. But... I swear, that is a gargoyle. This is so weird! Password Stanley, password Stonehead. Password big tool. Password to what? Password to what? That's glitching. There's some flesh there. Can't type it inside that thing, can I? Probably not. to google this because it's gonna be on my mind I'm part of mass grade that mine's um stone cutter Hack the PC that's in Stanley Gimble's building. Stanley Gimble's building! <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a PC somewhere in here. Alright, so it is a new quest. We're looking for a PC. Oh, um... Is that just a random ass bottle of morphine? Did I pick it up? That's that's the spare alien. Oh, hello. Stanley? Stone Hedge. The cargo has left France, bound for Club Confession in downtown LA. Stop the crate and acquire its continents before it gets there. It goes without saying that if it contains what we think, it is far more valuable than your pitiful life. Treat it as such. It's funny you should ask about unusual blood. There are rumors about something matching that very description here in the SM clinic. The only question left is what is it worth to you? <laughs> Dang, it's big, you know. Ah, it's nice to know that penis enlargement thing is for you as well. You're wrong with the street. That really sounds like a porno. Okay, secret. Hey, newcomer, are you looking for something? Order is stone cutter. It's not stone cutter then. I 
Excuse me, guys. Back to the paper. <laughs> Something peculiar happened, you say? I think he encountered a gargoyle. Stone head, big tool. So not stone cutter, but stone head, big tool. That is some big tool you got over there. A very big tool. Order a stone head. Statue. As per your request, I have intercepted the crate containing the gargoyle. There we go, that is a gargoyle! You were right, there's no doubt about it. This is a gargoyle created by the hated Tremere, trapped in Torpor for whatever reason. I'm hoping some very potent blood will wake it up from its slumber. I'm investigating ways to secure the most potent blood I can find. Okay, got it. Just I was just looking up what's up with this quest. Well, most of the things that we need are in Tremere Chantry, so we shouldn't worry about this in the Hollywood. We need to figure out how gargoyles work first, which kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah. I heard about it. That does sound very pervy, though. I think I even have it. I just... I don't remember it. I will need to go to the beach. But before I go to the beach, right? That's still gonna be... Can I enter the gallery early? That will be weird. I need to get some blood somewhere <laughs> Oh shit Okay, gallery pre being a gallery is extra fucking creepy Whoever made this mod wanted bloodlines to just be taken one step further. <laughs> I don't know why. I know that this doesn't make sense to newer viewers. But I just happen to have information about this game because I played the regular version of it to death. So I'm just exclaiming about everything that the mod ever did. I do have a nice amount of money. But I don't really want to pay prostitutes. <laughs> I kind of want their blood for free. And the best blood that you can get for free, really, is to either jump somebody on... You look literally like the person that recognizes me in Hollywood. The best blood is to jump somebody when they're walking the alleyways, or to jump somebody when they're at the end of the street over there. Because that's the least visible. You can also jump Kilpatrick, but for some reason in this mod, Kilpatrick has like a police companion, probably because you're not supposed to jump him. <laughs> no! Policeman immediately saw me and came running towards me. At this point, I'm not entirely sure that they're ever releasing a sequel, and they would definitely not like me. Because I don't really like VTM5 
which is the current edition because they stripped down a lot of features that they had they even put trigger warnings on it not because they stripped down the features but because people get triggered by this game oh god microphone you may need to stop hitting that but this is some good old uncensored 2004 which is not something that they do anymore, which is unfortunate. They more like the very dramatic emo attitude of my character's doomed and we're all so weak and my boss is telling me to do things and I don't want to do things. Wah! That sort of thing. That's, that's what they like. Because, for one thing, they kind of removed Sabat. And then they were like, you know, the main conflict is now between Anarchs and Camarilla, but the Camarilla is falling apart. So, you know, they're more on a even playing ground. And everybody that's old just kind of left. That is definitely a hunter. I mean, it's it, the publishers are Paradox. And um, Paradox honestly wouldn't give a shit. They're very hardcore with Crusader Kings 3. And they were fairly hardcore with Crusader Kings 2 as well. So it's... It's not like there is a problem there. But it's just... Can I just... Yep, I can. Thank you. Mine now. Yep. You can search for me while I enter this building, okay? There is police here, but he doesn't care. You're T posing. What's shaking? I found Carson, unfortunately, he's not coming back. Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? <laughs> His trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Well, what's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long. Put it on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I might be interested. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Sounds fun, you got a deal. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Well, hopefully she's not the one that's in pieces in the one of the apartments. So what's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges. I would really ask about guns, but I already collected some. Apparently, there is a license for this. There is a license to kill. What did he do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay, so above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? <laughs> you can't suck without a license. Is that a motivational thing? Like, you can't fail unless you have the license to fail? Or is that really threatening? Yeah, I hear you. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. I didn't even demand for my payment up front. I think we're good on the 
criminal violation thing now. So that's good. That nearly made me jump. I'm just kinda... Yeah, that's a hunter. I think. I'll turn it to- I'm just gonna count every guy in a trench coat as a hunter. Right? There's literally no other reason why he could be wearing a trench coat. What kind of door was there? And why is it gone? Not unlock that car yet. Time to have a chat with our boys at the beach. Hello? Up there. Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Oh! Th there's... Some... There are some people missing from the beach. What? Those men you are looking for. Uh, how did you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Weird. Well, what's new? Thanks. Oh no! They're still here! Thank god. So this is the stuttery guy. He's not involved in the quest until later. I'm gonna bet that there is some... There's probably some hunter around here somewhere. Because these places are fairly secluded. Now that I know them permanently dodging hunters... They really did not shut down the pier very well. There is normally a bubble gum here. I don't know why I'm looking for it, but... Normally you can sell it as magic gum to the guy at the pier. So that he buys the fact that I'm... Oh, you know, I chewed his gum and... My vampire goes away. No, no, I'm not. Uh, it's cross-play with mobile devices. Which means it's a mobile game for PC. They are doing a play test for it right now. Um, I know it because I logged in on EA Playtester thing. But if you want to register for it, you need to be able to dedicate 30 hours like this week. And no way I could be doing that. Not powerful enough to run a simulation game. At least not a proper simulation game. You still wouldn't run The Sims 3 on a mobile device. Um, the fact that they're not even targeting um, handheld consoles. Like Nintendo Switch. Uh, it tells you all you need to know. So... No. I, I don't fancy a mobile game. Plus, The Sims 4 is kind of vogue and wasn't my thing. It felt like it lacked soul. Uh, so if they downgraded it even more, then... Surely not my thing. One of you is looking your E. It's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. My E. You're kind of jumpy. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Oh, that's cool. Mind if I chill with you? Be my guest. You be the first. Most of the time, you type just runners off. Or in the case of some of the long faces we got gathered around here, killers on sight. What? Why? Don't know. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. 
Hey there, my blood's extra thin. Is that like a way to advertise an extra cool beverage? Like, <laughs> that's a thick boy and that's a thin boy. How did this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. Lily. I myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. Mm -hmm. And? <laughs> Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left. Never really knowing what I was. A Simster vacation really DLC was more like an adventure pack. So here I am now. So you could go looting the underground tombs for some reason. But honestly, it was kind of pretty cool. I did enjoy it. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up on these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Uh, you do know that you're vampires, right? That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Are all the others here at Thin Bloods as well? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or something. The Sabbath? The home cities. <laughs> They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, I've been through a lot. It's affected them. I'll get back to you if I hear anything. You look extra concerned. You know what? I'm gonna not recapeer you from money. I'm gonna do the good thing. I'm gonna tell you that there's no escaping who you are. Uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? What are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only in the movies. Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? No, I think this is permanent. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? You can try not let your condition defeat you. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. The dead can never live again. But they can survive. You understand? It's gonna be okay, champ. There you go. I'm a good person. You can sell him some really funky shit. The thing is, I actually do not know what would happen if Cain died. Because in this game, Cain is the head vampire. But Cain's character sheet, if you play tabletop, would literally say that the curse is that anything that you try to do to Cain happened seven times to you instead. So even if you try to like drain Cain, he would somehow just absorb your blood supply while you're draining him. So he is entirely immortal. He cannot physically die. Ever. So what happens if Cain did die? You know? Maybe that guy's onto something. Maybe everyone would be human again. Not likely, but... You never know. Maybe you should have tried. Okay, that's weird. That's a helicopter. I know that I'm standing the up. What are you wearing? Help ya. What are you wearing? <laughs> Why are you naked chested with just 
the breastplate? I have questions. Do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. I tell you what, I'll let you in. If on your way out, you want to work out a little fair trade for future purchases, you come see me. I'm Brian. I'll think about it, Brian. See ya. See ya, Brian. Oh, time to seduce the head guy. Why do that? There is a grate somewhere and I know it. It's normally in the bathroom. The grate went hiding, that's unfair. Oh. This is where the grate's at. Thank you. Oh! Who are you, dude? Yeah, that is what I love about this business. Fine women come to my house for my shit. I don't even gotta call them on the phone or nothing. Say there, pretty lady. What can I hook you up with tonight? What you got? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A-plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, red, black, you pick a color. I'm looking for something different. Got any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Money problems. I need to make a car disappear for insurance. Yo, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Anything else you take besides cash? Mm-hmm. I'd be open to negotiations. Question is, how open are you? Oh, all of my holes are just open agape. <laughs> this dude. He... Beat some guy up, took his money, and now he's giving away the explosives for a girl, for a chick for free. Really? Wow, you're a simp. Yo, go check the odometer on my car. Now, I'll give you what you want, but I got what you need. I kind of want to know what happens if I don't drink him fully. And yeah, I just saw my blood take down. That sucks. I think I get to walk out free. Yeah, there we go. Nothing bad has happened. Hey, I did this mission without fighting anyone that's pretty cool you can also just sneak in through here if you rip out the fence my dude still left standing with just a tiny bit of blood so he got some very much pleasuring and a lot of anemia right now and he's very confused it's like i don't remember what happened but it sure felt good Oh, Jilly! Jilly Wickers! I can't speak! <laughs> I don't know any... I don't know, 1950s saying. Outside of, oh boy! <laughs> so we got the astrolite. We picked up the quest. You know what, let me just drop down to my apartment. I think I live on the main street. 
It's kind of weird because there's nothing main about the main street and everything cool is on the second street, so I always get confused. I just want to drop by my own apartment to check the exploded gal's answering machine, I, I guess, because she's supposed to be living, like, right next to me. Then I can complete the quest for the kill Patwick. Ah, I like cash. That is our blackmail cash. I'm just stacking up all the cash. So not here. Well, looks like the board's up. So now we have a spare key for a thing that we have already hacked. Oh, thankfully, that's not the apartment with the exploded person. Hey, it's Mike. Look. I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Well, your baby is gone somewhere as well. Do I have any new emails? No, not yet. At some point, LaCroix is just like, I would really like some werewolf blood right now. And you're like, oh, I can do a side quest in the hospital. But that time is not right now. Right now is the time to tell Kilpatrick that we have done his side quest. And then maybe hit up the diner for that bag for Lily check. Actually, hit up the diner for the bag, then go to Kilpatrick because... The bag is gonna have a bond that we should be able to look up. I should probably have told the dude that I have Astrolite, but don't mind me. I'm just gonna run around with some explosives in my pocket. All is good. Life is perfect. There's just one hunter just kind of walking around somewhere. Hacking in public spaces, like it's nobody's business. I was working in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from his slab <laughs> They changed the music! And now it's Monster Mash! He did the mash! He did the monster mash! The monster mash! It was a graveyard smash! He did the mash! Well, you ever seen any pale kind of strange types in here late at night? Is that a trick question? <laughs> Have you ever heard the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Try to remember where did you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange, pretty girl said something about it recently. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tent, but she didn't know her thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely. YouTube will definitely not like me for having all this music in, but I wasn't the one to put it there. It was the mod. Thanks. I'll be sure to do that. There we go. Now we know what Lily looked like, because before that we didn't. For some reason she was carrying a photo of herself inside her bag. Like, it's a completely normal thing to do. And we have Kilpatrick Bail Bonds for Rolf Toden. And now that we know that it's Rolf Toden, we can use Kilpatrick's computer without Kilpatrick's permission. To figure more about our dude. Hurry on your way to the apocalypse. Oh, yeah, I don't care. There's now just my blood splattered all over that wall, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> hey there, hot stuff. If you're new to town or just I got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? The 
He skipped town! I don't know where he is. Alright then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thank See you. Then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. So, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working late shift here at So the, is... Uh, yacht club. S, T is between S and Z, right? Two. Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't ask me to remember my ABCs at random. Immigration, case, bond amount, $15,000. Type of bond, collateral, car, red light, bird, 77CA plate. Guayconi, notes go back to... G Germania, pal. We don't take the euro in these parts. I'm sorry. Germania? <laughs> you do know that money can be exchanged, right? Like, as long as you are not taking Monopoly money, you're fine. Right, this is slightly problematic because that homeless man is like preventing me my ability from moving forward and he's moving very, very slow. Now I run. Yeah, you go after the weird man shooting bullets. Oh, now you're confused. And like, I swear I heard a bullet being shot somewhere. But now they have stopped. There's no more bullet being shot. Excuse me while I look in the trunk. That is the diary that we've been looking. This seems to be a woman's diary as opposed to a man. 4303. Okay, so that was 2003. I wonder if we're still in 2003 or if we're in 2004 now. I met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh my god. His name is Rolf and he's from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He has to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't make me look like a big fat pig. Can't wait to see him. Uh, we are skipping a month. So it's now the 21st of May. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week. And if it is what I think it is, it's about the damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. Were you expecting a proposal in 20-something days? Or did you just want to sleep with him? The 6th of June now. I woke up at 9pm today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. 10th of June. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. 11th of June. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I haven't eaten anything was because I needed blood. God damn it, my dude just transformed her and left her alone for a week. He said it was all I could eat now, and that I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from a local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? She was able to survive off a single blood bag after going hungry for a week. Her superpower is a turtle metabolism, which is probably great for a vampire. So now we're in... 26th of July? Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. 22nd of August. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's gonna leave. December of... Okay, so we are in 2004. December 7th. I haven't seen or heard from Wolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? April. 
of April of 2004. I talked with this guy I met in Surfside until 5 this morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. I met that guy from Surfside again. He has no idea who I am. I brought E, the guy from Surfside, back to my apartment last night. He seemed like he's going back to Australia in a few days now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I never felt this way about anyone before, not even Rolf. So the 25th of April, E kissed me last night and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I drank too much and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? The 8th of May. I haven't been able to feed since the night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf brought blood from the blood bank. Maybe if I can sneak in, I can grab a few bags and get out before anyone can catch me. So, the story is that they have actually been imprisoned in that blood bank since May. <laughs> it's October now. They really have some peculiar super slow metabolism. Hello, cop. Don't mind me. I want to deliver the astrolite because I feel kind of weird running around with explosives on me, honestly. Mercurio? Got the astrolite back. Did you waste those sons of bitches? That's not my style, bro. Did you get my money back? Well, uh, yeah, sure, I can at least give you the cash. Oh, you're a I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. I feel bad because I haven't killed them, so I want to make up for him. I was going to keep the money. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabat interest. What's a sabat? You haven't been doing this too long, have you? No, I'm like Sabat, newborn. As I understand it, are your typical power-hungry movie monsters. They specialize in causing grief. I tangled with their life, let me tell you. I didn't enjoy it. Tell me about the warehouse. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe... Uh, Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes the tongue, thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking bro for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Who exactly? A Jeanette? Therese, Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Hmm. <laughs> you said something about blood before? Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Alright, and it just kind of reverts if you don't get it, so uh, that's nice. <sighs> so I need to visit the asylum. That's in downtown. I kinda need to break into the blood bank. I can make a gargoyle, but not right now.
Oh shit, I didn't actually get my money. God damn it. I need to go and extort Arthur. I forgot to extort Arthur. How did I forget to extort money from somebody? What's wrong with me? I want to just like cross out the quests. And I can't cross out the quest if I haven't crossed it out. That as a sentence makes perfect sense. So the hunter is kind of just gonna permanently hang around there, which I don't like. But I can hide behind the tank over here. Unfortunately, this homeless man always walks very, very, very slow. But I suppose that's why that, that truck is parked there. Oh cool, my bloodstains are still there, good to know. Hello, Just permanently decorated that door over there. Somebody saw my brain splatter. Hey, yeah? Sure. Yeah, they're seeing... Well, sure. What play? You've got the first shot at death tonight. So, who do I Gallery Noor. Ah, yeah, I know the place. Funny thing is, that spot used to hold a stinky old pet store. Now it's some hoity toity art gallery with wine and cheese and whatnot. How many boats do you own? What place? Sure, I can't actually demand money from him, which is really uncomfortable. Hey there. Because I would like my cash just so that I can like cross that out of my quest list and it doesn't let me. Hmm. Where is that long coat guy? He's not here at the moment. Oh, I'm gonna assume that he's wherever the shots are coming from. Don't mind me! The music is pretty cool, I gotta give it to them. Anyway, this is where we stop for today. I messed up by not getting money from Kilpatrick. So there's that. When we return, we're breaking into the blood bank and then visiting the asylum. Unfortunately, my blood still drains over time, but I'm sort of used to it, so it's fine. And the weird hunter thing is very weird. Um, that's one heck of a way of doing the La Sombra negative thing. The, you know, clan weakness. We're gonna so see other weaknesses as well from other clans as we're gonna move through this, so this is gonna be awesome. Anyway, very satisfied about all the changes that the mod makes because it's a lot more than I've been expecting. So this is gonna be <laughs> a lot more interesting than I thought it was gonna be. So thank you all for watching. And I'm gonna return probably today, honestly. Because I don't anticipate there being any trouble to me streaming today. So, see you for now.